Let's talk Paul Edmondson and Hub Pages. What is our for the uninitiated? What is Hub Pages? So Hub Pages is is like YouTube for content. When I say content, it's not just video, but it's also pictures, mm -hmm. uh, text, and uh, all the th elements that make up a great web page. And so it's a community-based website. Anybody can come and participate and make a one-page topical website about something. Now people make pages about all kinds of things. They some people post poems, but other post people post recipes. Barbecue right. happens to be my favorite thing to make hubs on. <laughs> I know I'm with that. I, I, definitely, <laughs> I definitely like to uh, char a little mammal flesh myself. All right. So what I'm going to do, part of what you're going to see is you're going to see my screen go away in a second here because I have screen sharing turned on. So I'm going to ask you some questions, and while uh, you're chatting, I'm going to actually go ahead and put up the Hub Pages website so people can kind of see what you're talking about as you're talking about it. Cool. So uh, you said a community kind of like uh, uh, YouTube but for all kinds of content. So one of the things in this, in this economy that I know a lot of people look at, especially with blogging, microblogging, is, is there a way to monetize? So I understand that with hub pages, there's actually a way that people can make money? Yeah, that's, that's, that's right, and it is. It's been a very, very tough uh, economy out there, and we know a lot of people are looking for ways to make an income. Now, hub pages is... is a great place to make a supplemental income and there are people today that make a full-time living writing on hub pages uh, but also small amounts of money today make a big difference to people so yeah. hub pages it takes takes a while to build up and to create a, a residual income stream that produces meaningful results for a lot of people but there's there's just been incredible success stories uh, there there's a woman named Maria Det uh, who has a large family and uh, she she became very active on hub pages and now is earning well over three thousand dollars a month uh, another another person uh, Steph Hicks and he came to hub pages as the economy had turned around she was a, a land use attorney and began writing and now she's doing well over a thousand dollars a month and I think she's made over twenty thousand dollars in a lifetime and these are wow. on hub pages these are people that have that have really come they've made great pages they've mm -hmm. stuck with it uh, and they're really finding great success and meaningful revenue for them now right so so not only do you have people who are supplementing their income but you've actually had some standout cases where people have been able to actually create uh, in, in a, a, a sizable income uh, yeah that's true and it's 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 one of those really I think interesting things about today sometimes small amounts of money you know fifty dollars a month that is meaningful to that's really meaningful to a lot of people on and on the great success side where people do make a full-time income yeah. but just starting there and getting those first dollars flowing through and learning how to create pages that that take the the things that you know how to do well and turn them into income that's what hub page is all about it's all about taking the things that you're passionate about the things you do every day in life whether like me it's barbecuing or I'm gonna make a hub today about how to remove plastic from a glass because my daughter stuck a coat up to a glass fireplace and melted a whole coat so I'm gonna it's one of the things you do every day in life uh, that turn into great hub pages and that that has value to it people will come and they'll, they'll find that information uh, and so, we'll so how, do, how does one get started with that so you're building an audience you, you know all that comes with time but yeah. how, what's what's step one what do, what do we do here this step one is signing up on hub pages and making that first page like everything there's a learning process that you, that you go through mm -hmm. uh, when you when you get on hub pages you can look around you can find the best hubbers and you can see the types of pages that they make and uh, uh, if you're at the top right hand corner there you'll see hubbers and you can click on them uh, yeah and you'll find there that this is a list and there right there there's Maria Adet and Patty English both very successful people but you'll see her most her her, her most recent hub there decorating uh, a hub on decorating there oh, okay there we go. Scroll down and see, but what, you'll read the pages and you'll see the kinds of pages that that uh, people like uh, Marie create, and you'll see that you'll see that they're very specific. They're usually about a niche, and they're pretty detailed. They've got a lot of rich information in them, and those. And those actually, are, Maria's apparently uh, been uh, pretty busy. Seven hundred and forty-two hubs. Now I'm guessing that is a hub, an actual article. Yeah. That's one page. So if you if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see 
her hubs, and you can click on click on one. I think Maria uh, has one on uh, on making soap that has just been very very prolific. So you'll okay. see those tabs that are latest, hot, and best, and her best ones are tend to be the ones that get the most traffic hot too. Those are people where they're they're commenting actively. Oh, okay. You can see the kinds of things that that uh, Marie is writing about here. And I see at a glance you can see uh, she has you know uh, a little over four thousand followers. You can see that right in the right hand corner under feedback, you can actually see what kinds of feedback was this article useful, interesting, funny, beautiful. That's actually pretty neat. So you've actually included some. Uh, if I may throw the word around, because I do like to throw it around, gamification on this. We have some badges. It looks like. Yeah, there's 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 definitely badges and 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 systems around creating uh, that that we try to encourage certain behaviors, people to create hubs, ask questions, give answers, be helpful, all the kinds of things, uh, attract an audience that rewards authors. We often talk about hub pages being the most rewarding place to publish online. And <laughs> While income is a piece of that, there's other types of rewards that come from having readership or just getting a positive feedback on the site. So yeah, those are all important things. We call those accolades. I really like that. That's actually pretty cool. So what is the average, do you have, um, let's say, what is the average age, uh, what's the average user uh, on, on your site? What's your, what is your demo? You know, we have a... a a broad demo. Any site that if you go on hub pages, you can find some content for anybody. I'd say the real sweet spot uh, it tends to be women, tends to be moms, somewhere mm -hmm. between the age of 25 and 50 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's there's a little bit of everything. There's a retired demographic. There's a there's a, a young gamer demographic. You, and it's not just about the people that are uh, creating the content or, or participating in hub pages, but it's the readership. Right. It's, it's pretty amazing how some you could actually take somebody who may be in one demographic, but then their their readership is in a very different demographic. Right, so right. Yeah, it's always it's always interesting to see that. Yeah, it's fun to watch those organic connections happen on the net where you have uh, young people. You, it really is a great equalizer in terms of bridging uh, the generation gap, you know, because there's just so much information, so much wisdom that can be shared between uh, different folks that it's just amazing sometimes the connections you can make. So what did... How did you? How did that come about? What What was your motivation? Why did you uh, get involved with Hub Pages? What 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 about this was kind of personal to you? Yeah. So, I, way back uh, several years ago, I used to I used to work at Microsoft, and we started on a on a search engine optimization project there, and I was working actively in the advertising space and doing some of the very early work there in contextual advertising, and I could see coming together was this, uh, if you got onto some of the early days and to places like Webmaster World, you could see that there were just lots of individuals that had some technical skills that were starting to create pages. They had figured out how to put AdSense in the page, and they right. were doing pretty well. And those were.